Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a part one of a little project I have going on for the winter. It's a car remote start by text message from my cell phone. Unlike any other remote start out there, this doesn't have any range limit. As long as the car has cell phone signal, it will start. And this is good if you if you live in an apartment complex or a college dorm and your car is out of range, you would just text the car and uh, it will start. The setup I have here is a, an Arduino Uno connected to a GC module, which has a SIM card in it, and an 8 relay module. I'm only using three relays, one for flashing the parking lights, one for the ignition, and one for the starter. And you would ask me why I need an 8 relay module. This is basically if I want to add more features in the future to this project, I will just update the code inside the Arduino and they will have the relays ready for those functions or let's say for example one of the uh, of the relays goes bad i will have other relays to take over i would just have to switch the pins and other relays would do the job of the bad relay so it works by receiving a text message from my cell phone into the gc module here which communicates that message to the arduino which compares whatever is in that text to the code it has in it and it gives signal to the relay to engage and do those functions. So I'm using a uh, Zoo rated production code in this. I would like to thank him for sharing his code. I did some modifications to accommodate my needs, particularly um, the timer, he has it set on, I think, 8 or 9 minutes, and they have mine set on 25 minutes, just so the car has enough time to warm up and it wouldn't, like, turn off before I come out. So I have plenty of time for getting ready in the morning. Also, that timer allows for um, the Arduino to receive another text. Like, let's say, for example, you change your mind and you don't want to come out anymore. You're not going anywhere anymore. You would just text the car and it would turn off. The engine would just stop. The timer is basically uh, a function to prevent you from mm, accidentally starting the car without knowing and the car running forever until it goes through a full tank of gas. And that's, that's pretty much it. Let me just turn this on and give a little demonstration of how it works. I have it plugged into this 5 volt outlet and it powers everything. This is a, a 2 amp outlet. Just for the moment, I will have it plugged into um, the car's electrical system afterwards. Let me just plug it in real quick and show you how it works. It's powering up. The GC module will start flashing every second, and then when it lacks on the signal, it will start flashing every three seconds. There you go, it just lagged into the signal, and everything is ready. Let me just text the car real quick, start function. Let me just bring my phone here. This is the start. Just put the phone down here. So let's send the start function. There you go. The text is sent. GC module receives it. And the parking lights are flashing. The ignition is on. The starter kicks in. And the starter cuts off. So the car is running now. It will keep it this way for 25 minutes. Then it will just disengage. The relays will disengage and turn off the, the engine. That way you don't accidentally start it. Let's send it text message to turn off the engine. I have it with this keyword turn off. Let's send the text and wait for it to, to flash the parking lights and turn off the engine. Text is sent, received it, 
parking lights are flashing ignition is gonna cut off there you go it's gone this is basically how it works and I will explain the code uh, in part two of this video and uh, I will go in depth with the code and in part three I will have everything in this case in this little case here and the wiring coming out of it and hidden underneath the dash like so I will have everything inside nice and tidy and have it inside the dash and you wouldn't even know it's there this is finished product after I put everything inside this case this is how it looks like and underneath and this is the inside everything is nicely packed and organized that's the GSM module on there the Arduino and the relay module everything is probably six inches long and two inches thick and it should fit no problem underneath the dash stay tuned for uh, the upcoming videos of this cool little project thanks for watching